Titus Scalvis here doing another online commentary for Rome Total War. I command uh, the people of Pontus and my opponent, EIN Silence Do Good, commands the Macedonians. Let's look at what I got. I got five bronze shield pikemen that are gold gold. I have them backed up by uh, peltists that are silver uh, attack. I have six gold gold pontic archers and on each wing I have uh, two chariot archers one containing my general and they have a gold sword let's see if I can find my general here I can't oh well and over here I have one Cappadocian calf that's three, that's gold gold, one Cappadocia Cav, and I have two scythe, heavy scythe chariots that have a, a silver attack. Okay, let's look at what uh, Silence Do Good has. He's got a lot of pikemen here. He's got four units of Phalanx pikemen uh, that have one upgrade each. I don't know what it is, either defense. He's got five units of royal pikemen that have no upgrades he has three units of Cretan archers with no upgrades and he has five units of the companion cavalry that are gold gold so he is basing his fight on winning by way of cavalry dominance alright let's click play and see what happens Alright, we'll fast forward a little bit here to get to the action. Try to back up here and see if we can see any action going while I'm fast forwarding. I guess us both checking out our armies. Okay, I start to maneuver my army up. And I can tell you right now that I want to get rid of his Cretan archers, so I'm probably focusing three archers and a chariot archer to each flank of of a Cretan archer so four archer fire on this one and four archer fire on that one okay let's hit play here he starts to move up his army he's got his phalanx in the front in loose formation he's got these guys in tight formation but stretched out the royal pike alright he starts maneuvering his cavalry on the flanks up going after my uh, my uh, chariot archers and uh, yeah I'm fi making my missile fire go on to these Cretan archers because they have heavy missile fire I start to maneuver out uh, a bronze shield pikeman to try to help out on the cavalry because I scanned over before the battle to see what kind of army he had and I know this is the meat of his army is his, uh, is his uh, cavalry I pretty much have him dominated everywhere else if he would have lightly upgraded I would have uh, been dominated in the infantry but I mean lightly upgraded I mean he has one upgrade Alright, so he's trying to harass my archers with all his cavalry. Here I bring my Cappadocians up. And some chariots. Got my chariot archers, my general. And he's trying to faint my guys in here while I'm mushing up my... Oop! My general was killed, but that's okay. Now I'm holding them in place to get a rush with my... Uh, pikemen and start chain route he held his general back which was smart of him so he still has cavalry left and I'm pretty sure that these guys will come back from routing so now I'm just going to reform my lines continue the archer fire and yeah his cavalry since it's gold gold is coming back from routing but all the cavalry except for his general unit will be pretty easy to route. I have still some Cappadocian cav. I have some sky chariots. Two, two units of sky chariots left. 
and I guess my other uh, missile chariot rolled off the scene. Alright, that's just my paladists uh, rolling out. They're doing their damage, but I'm engaging in a pike battle right now with these unupgraded phalanx pike men. He's going to try to squeeze in some hammer strikes here and outflank me with royal pikemen. But as you can see, I'm, I'm winning that. You know, these phalanx pike men are pretty weak, so... Alright, here comes the cav charge. So he did outflank me there, but look, he's going after cavalry and pelvis. But since I have my pelvis uh, out of skirmish mode, that's going to hold him there for me to get a good charge on his cavalry. So he's trying to run them away. And he succeeds in doing so. But at what cost? He's losing all his phalanx pike man. But it's starting to even out. It's starting to even out. Now he's just got royal pike men left and maybe a couple units of a uh, uh, companion cavalry besides from his general. But I have all my archers basically. Two, four, five units of archers. Uh, he still has all his archers but they aren't uh, focused on this battle. My infantry is so much more down. Now here you can see my cavalry, my chariots are running amok, but they're getting kills on these uh, on these uh, royal pikemen because they're running amok in the backfield here. So he's out flanking me and busting a pincer move on my infantry, but his infantry just can't stand up to mine because there's no upgrades. Alright, I get a flank charge on that infantry with my Cappadocians. Run right through to charge through. And get some uh, get some uh, Cretan archers. While my chariot archers run amok back here and start causing damage to his Cretan archers. Get another hammer strike in. But his pikes were faced that way and I was zoomed out so I didn't know. That, you, look, even my uh, Amok Cav starts, Chariot start route hitting my own Cappadocian Cav. Well, but he runs his pikes and uh, runs his channel right into my pikes. So, I start bringing my Pelotists up to help to support in the infantry fight. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, they're chucking their stuff. They're chucking their spears. My guys are moonwalking backwards for God knows what reason. Losing or gaining experience points. Alright. He faints on a charge right there. I seen him coming. While I hit a charge on his flank right there. Yeah, so there he wins the cavalry battle with a good heavy charge from his uh, general and, and the companion calf. But he's sustaining big losses. Now there's only 13 in his heavy calf, but he does the damage. But bottom line is, is now I got uh, infantry superiority and I got a good amount of uh, missile superiority. Decides to pull these guys away. And I try to charge his unattended general's unit, which I do successfully. And now I begin to try to take out his his uh, his royal pikemen. They were out just from arrow fire, as you can see. These guys are rifling down on them. These guys still won't turn around for God knows what reason. So I start bringing these pike men forward. Get the back shot on these guys. Sometimes that happens. It's a glitch in Total War. Where you'll click to attack and it's like they won't flip around to attack. But you can see they are trying to attack. Now they finally get the turn around. Because the Royal Pikemen turn around into an instant route. 
So then I turn everybody else around to get these Royal Pikemen with one upgrade. And they're falling, they're dropping. Yeah, that's a lot of dead men from a pike battle. Okay, and these were routed uh, Royal Pikemen. They come back and look. Guess these guys are out of arrows. They come out busting their knives out. Victory seems certain. Only a fool could lose. But let's watch the battle as my pikemen come up here. And route them guys. Turn around. Now it's pikemen versus Cretan archers. And that is a wrap. And he pretty much has nothing left after that. He picked a good army, but he didn't upgrade. That's an army that could have won if he had a little bit of upgrades, like maybe took one or two units off and made them gold, gold, or silver, silver, anything. But anyway, uh, I deployed 1,524 men and had 1,362 kills with 563 men remaining. EIN Silence Do Good deployed 1,596 men, had 1,083 kills, so he maneuvered his army great, but uh, he only had 194 remaining. So, good game to my opponent. It was only an average victory, so, very good game to my opponent. EIN Silence Do Good. Hope you enjoyed the video.